<clears throat> so I'll blow some air into the back of the call so you can hear that, see what it sounds like. What I want you to do is just take a, take a nice deep breath, apply your hands like I showed you, and uh, try to get your mouth like I showed you, and into the back of the call, drop your jaw down just a little bit, blow some air into that, into the, into the reed, um, into the front of the call so you can make some sounds with it. Blow some air in there, and as you're blowing air and applying air to the call, bring your tongue, the back of your tongue and your jaw closer and closer to the roof of your mouth, and uh, you're gonna feel the call break over. Once you get your tongue close enough to the roof of your mouth, it's gonna speed that air up enough and it's gonna break the call over. You don't have to shut the note off with your tongue if you don't want to. You don't have to stop it like a clock where it would break over and stop. You can just continuously blow air. It's not really gonna sound like a goose, but it's just gonna get you, it's gonna, it's gonna get that flute stuff untrained out of your brain and it's gonna start training you and uh, into learning this short read just take a big deep breath and just blow a bunch of air into the call. And then once that call breaks over, then just back off and come back down with it. And then break it over again and come back down, break it over. You can hear a little bit of, uh, of air speed and, and pressure change in the call when I'm doing that. And that pressure change, that air speed change is when the call would break over. So. Um, let's try that into the front of the call. Make a little bit of noise with it. It's gonna sound terribly annoying. I get that. It's not gonna sound anything like a goose. You're probably not gonna do, not, not, not gonna wanna do anything like this when you're goose hunting, but it's a learning tool, it's a training tool. So here we go. You're gonna, train your brain, you're going to train your mouth, your muscle memory, everything. It's going to all help all that stuff out. <clears throat> so now let's talk about if you couldn't get that sound out of there. Let's talk about if you got something like this. <coughs> sounds terrible. Uh, maybe sounds more like a sick duck than a goose or anything like that. So what happened there? What, if, if, you get, if you're getting a sound like that, what happened there and what you're doing wrong is you're applying too much pressure to this end of the call while you've got too much pressure on this end of the call. So in the middle here, it's kind of like, it's kind of like a scale. Your guts are right in the middle, your reed's right in the middle of that scale. So if you've got a ton of pressure uh, on the front end of the call where you, where you blow the air into, and you've got a ton of pressure back here on the back side of the call, back pressure, if you've got too much of that, your reed's stuck right in the middle, it's gonna freak out, go down into the bottom of the tone channel and pretty much just stick there and not know what the heck it's supposed to do. So I'm just gonna, it's gonna sound something like that. You get a ton of pressure here and a ton of pressure here and that's what's gonna happen. On the opposite end of that, the other end of the spectrum, if you're, if you're having trouble breaking the call over like this, if you're having trouble with that and you're getting something that sounds like this, It's not really breaking over. It's not breaking over correct. So what happened there is I don't have enough pressure on this end and I don't have enough pressure on this end. So my hands were my hands were way too opened up and I wasn't putting enough pressure in on here. So if, <clears throat> if I open my hands up, I'm gonna have to apply a bunch more pressure on this side. If I close my hands way down, I'm gonna have to back way off on the pressure on this side. Do you understand how that scale, that teeter-totter is working there with the the pressures and the reed in order to get that reed to break over correctly and, and uh, to function properly. So now as we advance a little bit further um, and we've got some of that muscle memory created, we've, we're starting to learn the, what our, our tongue and our mouth needs to do, when it's telling to do it, we can start to shut that note off and create basically our first honk out of the goose call, uh, that low note and then a, the break and then the high note pretty easy, pretty basic note. Um, geese don't do it very much, uh, a little bit, but um, it's a good note to start on with the goose call because it's a slow note and it's a lot of the first note and a lot of the second note, so you get good practice in there. So let's just try that honk. You got your fingers, how we talked about, you got your air, your muscles, tongue, everything like that. So take a pretty deep breath in and just blow that low note 
and then break it over and then shut that second note off with your tongue. Just like that, break it over and then shut it off. Pretty easy, pretty basic note. First note is your low note, then it breaks over and into your, your higher second note.